This is Dr. Daniel Paul, uh, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to explain tennis elbow. So what is tennis elbow? First of all, you do not need to play tennis to get tennis elbow. It's just that it's seen in tennis players and that's why they call it tennis elbow. So what tennis elbow is, is you have all these muscles in your form that help extend your wrist and your fingers. And they all attach to the outside of your elbow. And where that attachment is, it can start to cause pain. And that's kind of the tennis elbow area. What's really going on there is there's a muscle called the uh, extensor carpi radialis brevis. And it's not really an inflammation so much as that muscle and tendon start to get kind of frayed, at least where it inserts on the elbow. And that can cause pain, and essentially that's what um, tennis elbow is. It's almost like a little frayed piece of rope where, where you know some of these muscles insert on the outside of your elbow. So a lot of people get it. They'll have pain when they extend their elbow or lift their wrist up, and it can be irritating. It can interfere with you wanting to do your workouts and other things that you do are with your work. So it certainly is a frustrating issue that I see commonly. So the question is what to do about it. Well, that depends on how much it bothers you. This is not something that causes arthritis or any real long-term disability. It just can be very bothersome, you know, for a little while. Um, the first thing to do is there's a good stretches and exercises you can do um, to help relieve your, relieve your pain. They're called eccentric elbow exercises, and that kind of helps you know, that area get better. Um, some people try bracing. It's a little brace which wraps around like this called a counterforce brace. Some people swear by it, some don't. I have some patients who, who use it and some don't. So you can try that out and see if that helps you. Um, you know, also icing, um, anti-inflammatories questionably. Uh, and also, if those don't help, what you can also do is get a steroid injection into that area. Now this steroid injection is a little bit different than most. With most steroid injections, you kind of inject in and then that's it. With this, what you're doing is you're taking the needle and you're tapping the bone a lot. You're trying to get this frayed uh, you know, tendon area to heal. And um, it takes a little while. When I do mine, it's like about, I don't know, around a minute of me just poking um, this tendon. So that can certainly help. And that's usually what I would do after someone has failed, you know, exercises and other sorts of treatment. Um, you can do this injection up to a couple times, um, but just know that tennis elbow is something that can sometimes take a really long time to go away, like on the order of a year. So if you've had it for a week or a few months, just know that that's normal for tennis elbow. Um, in rare instances, we'll operate on it. It's really only done about 5% of the time. Um, you know, the results from that are, you know, are variable. So I think that's one of the reasons it's not done very often. Um, but the surgery is essentially you go down, find that frayed piece of tendon, and, and you remove it. Um, so that's kind of the nuts and bolts of what tennis elbow is and how to treat it. Again, a super annoying injury, but you know with time and stretches and maybe plus or minus a steroid injection, you can usually get over it. Um, I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to respond. Um, if you like this video, we put out new content every Friday, so please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.